Welcome back to Talking News, guys, and we're talking about Andre McDonald and Andre McDonald. He is actually trying to lower the bond so that he can get out of jail. Now, if you're not familiar with the story of Andre McDonald, you can refer back to my videos that I posted previously on my channel. But we're going to be covering, for those of you that are keeping up with this story on this video, we're covering the fact that Mr. McDonald is trying to get out of jail. Now, Mr. McDonald's attorney, John, is uh, urging us, the public, not to rush to judgment. And does he have the right to do that? Probably so. I mean, you are innocent until proven guilty in the United States of America. Could we be wrong? Could this all be a coincidence? There's a big possibility that we could be wrong, and there's a big possibility that we're not wrong. So, But the fact of the matter is, is they have to prove without a, you know, without a doubt that um, he carried out this heinous act in order for him to be considered guilty. But with Miss McDonald missing for so long now, it really doesn't make sense since he didn't have concern about her whereabouts. The only thing he's ever said is the fact that he loves his daughter that we've seen a few times. This does not help Mr. McDonald out on how we see him. And I feel as if he had a lot more to do with it than he's trying to tell us. So what they've said is they actually filed a motion for uh, to reduce the bond Wednesday, in fact. And this was done in the uh, 399th District Court. After his bail was set after um, set at two million dollars, his attorney said it in the motion that the county bond schedule agreed by the district court judges recommends that approximate bond amount for the third degree felony to be set between five thousand and fifteen thousand dollars. His attorney goes on to say, very few people could produce this outlandish amount of money to secure pre-trial release on $2 million bond. Major McDonald is no exception, the motion states. Now, his attorney wrote that the settling of McDonald's bond at this amount was an abuse of the direction because the sum of the money exceeds the necessary amount to ensure his presence at the future legal proceedings. McDonald's attorney also says that uh, he argued that McDonald, a major in the U.S. Air Force Reserve, is not a flight risk because he owns a residence in San Antonio, Texas and that he can be directed to live on base. They go on to say that his daughter attends grammar school uh, here as well. According to the motion, she is currently in the care of a relative, authorities have said. It also states there's no uh, reason that exists to believe that Mr. McDonald, an Air Force reservist, will um, attempt to flee, the motion states. Now, as of Wednesday, uh, including around the base in San Antonio Camp Bullis, authorities have yet to find Andrew McDonald. We have a bunch of volunteers out there who are actively searching. I mean, we have tons of volunteers out there. And a few of them that I've talked to, they're dealing with rattlesnakes. They're dealing with, you know, a lot of brush and they're dealing you know, with the unknown, this is, uh, it can be pretty dangerous for them too if they do not know what they're doing. But the fact is, is these people are out there volunteering their time trying to help police out uh, because they say they know they have other cases. Now, I've talked to some people about what they think about him being released and a lot of them say that they cannot believe that they were able to hold him this long at that high of a bond 
you know, for a felony. A few people say that, uh, that, you know, it was shocking to them that he was held that long and, you know, they expected it and it's something that they knew they were going to have to deal with. That's why uh, finding her body is very key or finding out where she's at if she is alive somewhere. You know, Mr. McDonald's lawyer is saying, you know, don't prejudge. But it's hard to do that based on the evidence that we know and how he acted knowing his wife was missing. One of the first things he did was go to a gun shop. And for some reason unknown, he did not finish, you know, purchasing the gun. He didn't walk out of that store with the gun. All he had was uh, a thing of ammo that we're not sure of the amount of ammo that he left the store with before police uh, detained him for, you know, mental health reasons. And I must say that the probably the most disturbing part about this story is the fact that the daughter is now without both parents, and that must be hard on the child. Now, if you're one that's interested in this case, you might want to keep your eye out on the media because he may be getting out of jail soon. So let's hope, you know, we do hear something about Andrine, that they find something out, whether it be, um, you know, good or bad, but they do find out something because that will be the next big clue that police need in order to move forward. All right, guys, I made this video pretty fast. I, I will update you guys when I find out more, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. One thing uh, for certain is we are sending our love out to Andreen's family, our prayers, and we're hoping for the best for this family. Guys, if you have any ideas of what you think happened, share it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I want to say the most important thing is thank you for caring enough to watch. You know, the care about what's going on in your community and your country. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.